you know, uh, when it comes to quantum technology, a lot of, I think, the audience will be mm, quite surprised to find that, in fact, uh, quantum technology is uh, somewhat embedded in our digital infrastructure already, right? So from transistors to GPS systems to um, laser printers. But I think the next natural question for many is because this uh, phenomena is so invisible to the naked eye, how does it work? How do you explain that you know, to the general public? Yeah, that's a great question. <laughs> you know, I've, I've been in classical computing for 30 years and it's always been a mystery to me till I got more into it. Um, and it's really simple. You know, nature computes, right? If you think about it, uh, it uses natural tools like atoms and, and particles that you find in nature, and they have an inter interaction, and you can control that interaction and get um, a new way to compute instead of semiconductor chips turning on, turning off transistors and, and representing arithmetic or knowledge. You can do that with loading natural elements like atoms, like trapped ions, like light photons uh, with information and what, controlling the interaction to actually cause computation to happen. Well, it just sounds like one more thing, but why do you care, right? The, the reason you care is this kind of computing is very, very promising for uh, speed ups and energy conservations. You can do many, many more things in parallel 